Hey guys, how you guys doing this week? It's Saturday, and as per usual, doing the usual stuff on a Saturday. I'm going to be about to start a bike ride, harder bike ride. Don't know what I'm doing yet, but unfortunately, things have gone wrong. I'm resetting my my PC, so I'm going to be using Zwift on my phone to see if so hopefully that works and inside again because I really do not want I don't want to ride ride my bike um, outside it's just too much of a hassle so you know here she is I'm I'm currently in the process of, of trying to get a new bike um, you know if I want to race I you know I want to I need a new bike so that being said, this week I've really been thinking about um, racing, right? So this week is has been Thanksgiving week. So Thanksgiving was a couple days ago. And so I have had the week off of school. Week of training has been really well. I haven't really rec haven't recorded anything um, this week um, just because, I don't know, didn't feel like it. And anyways... Training's been going well, been feeling really good, and been thinking about racing, and when am I going to be racing? So, that being said, after this bike workout, I'm going to get in a little bit more detail about what is probably going on. So, I'm going to try to set a few things into the future, and just some general goals to kind of aim for. And we'll see if we can get to them, um, you know, in 2022. So that'll be the goal. But for now, it's time to get this bike workout in. Let's go. Okay, finally done with that bike session. Not too bad. Legs have definitely been feeling a lot better on the bike. Um, it's crazy what just a couple weeks of, of training can do um, for you. I don't know. But anyways, going to eat some lunch. And we're going to rest up for this run that I'm going to be doing later. Um, let's see. So I, I rode about 28 miles, hour and a half. And just like some pickups, sprints, stuff like that um, on the trainer. Don't really know what I'm doing for bike training, so just kind of going off of Zwift workouts that they provide. And uh, it's been working out as far as I, I can tell. Um, so far this week, rode about 90 miles, five hours, pretty good. Um, some pretty consistent training on the bike so far so it's good and uh yeah i don't know that's all i got right now so despite my recent hatred for the outdoors because it's cool and it being too cold i'm going to go run outside and you know it is what it is. So, I'm gonna do 
pretty normal session. I'm gonna try to do about a six mile te um, tempo or progression run. And we'll see how it goes. You know, so, you know, you know, ugh, I'm just, I don't like it outside, I don't like it outside, I don't like it outside, it's so cold, who wants to go outside when it's cold, it's just, no sun, whatever dude, whatever, 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 whatever. So I, the entire point of this video was to tell you that I've kind of figured out a little bit more of the future and where I'm going to be racing in 2022. So obviously a lot of the um, triathlon races are in the summer and so that is going to be the main goal. I want to target a few races in California in the summer of 2020 or 2022 that being said i want to try to make it to age group nationals for 2022 and that means that i might try to go compete at um some state championships um california or idaho whichever one is easier to get to and going to try to make more of a, like a thing of it um and then, and then another goal for 2022, going into spring, is I want to start a, um, a triathlon club or a triathlon team at my university. Um, so you can compete at the NCAA level in triathlon, and it's a club team or, um, or school team. Um, so I, I want to try to get that going, and it would be awesome to be able to compete um, at the NCAA level uh, in triathlon. Uh, so that is kind of the plan for right now. In terms of what's going to be happening this winter, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing um, any more ro road races, running races, track races. There may be some opportunities to do some indoor track races. Um, but other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, so that's the plan, kind of going into uh, 2022. Um, Cause kind of have to have a little bit more of a plan, so like that way I can actually have some targeted focused training, so I know that I can actually get better at at something, makes it easier. Um, yesterday didn't go really into a whole lot of detail after the run that I did. It was it was rough. It was rough, rough, rough. Um, so I did a mile warm up, did a five mile um, progression run, and didn't want to do it outside. Ended up doing it outside because I forced myself. Um, it wasn't too bad being outside, but my it, it just like. I don't know, my legs were dead and I started cramping really bad and it was just not not enjoyable. So originally six, cut it down to five miles. Went from about like 630, 615, 556, 549, and then 540 about for that. And then two mile cool down. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's uh that's kind of all I got for you guys this week. Um, looking forward to 2022 and uh, looking forward to uh, trying out some new things and 
hopefully, you know, the next step, the next goal in uh, in this process is I got to get a new bike. Um, so hopefully we can do that sometime in the uh, near future. But uh, yeah, thank you guys uh, for watching. So uh, I'll see you guys next week.